Probably the best thing that we do that is different from most of the things that you've seen is what I'm about to talk about next, okay? We stunt constantly at the ball. We're constantly stunting at the ball. Okay, I'm going to show you the two drills we do to emphasize stunting. First one's called stunt drill. I know that's very creative. So we do it with four guys still. Give me my offensive players now, kind of slide to the corners in two slots, stay in two slots, I'll take the ball. We call this the stunt drill. Now what this does, we just started this last year. It's one of the reasons why we are so much better last year, because we just started doing this last year. All right? So anytime the ball is passed and there's a closeout disadvantage, or anytime the ball is dribbled in a gap, we stun at the ball. At least we're supposed to. So this one works on the disadvantage closeout. So your defense, get on the blocks, okay? You guys are in a little bit. Okay, now you're watching me. We call this a stunt drill. So all I'm going to do is, I don't have to call a name this time, I'm throwing it to either corner. Offense, as soon as you catch it, you're just swinging it all the way around to the other corner. Okay, you're just, as soon as you catch it, quick swing. So what we have here is we have three stunts. So if I throw it to this corner, you're stunting this ball. When we stunt, we go hand out all the way, we push off our foot, we say stunt and go. Stunt and go. So you're just stunting. You're yelling mine, I'm yelling stunt. As you swing it, then you're stunting. Hand to the chest. Hey, hey, uh, number three, we're going to swing it, then you've got to stunt him all the way up there. Okay, swing it. You're gonna, now he's going to be in a disadvantage, so you're going to drive baseline. You'll be stunting and going, so you'll, trust me, you won't be there if they swing it quick. As soon as you catch, you're driving baseline. Let him go. We cross, we help, we drop, we help the helper. This guy goes in the paint, good. You're guarding him at this point. Now, as soon as that ball's kicked out, wherever it goes, we're live. Doesn't matter where he throws it, we're live. Okay? Now, here's the one. The hardest one for this stun is that second slot. Because this guy always stays too low if you go this way. Okay? Again, we're swinging this is full speed, live, 100%. Okay? Now, if I threw the ball this way, now I don't tell him which way. So you guys will stare at me on this one, because whichever way I go, you get... You could be going that way or that way. Okay, I'll go this way so you guys know. Stunt, 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 drive baseline, help, help the helper, kick out, now we're live. Now in that kick out, you may get your guy, you may get somebody else. Okay, you gotta work on your communication, you gotta yell mine. That's why we yell stunt, because we gotta know if I'm taking or if I'm just stunning. Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. Swing it. Good. Mine? Good. Okay, good. Now we will play that live for a whole full drill. Now, these stunts, you want to, we, we almost want to touch the body. So even down here, okay, look, get your spots, guys. And, and, and what stunning does, guys, it does two things. The actual stunt helps freeze the offensive player and is very effective. But it also gets you moving more towards your gap and closer to your line where you're supposed to be, okay? Because you can't stun if you're where you're supposed to be. So when that ball goes here, and we're stunting all the way, almost hand all the way to the chest, almost, boom. Okay, good. You're getting ready to stunt, right? You're exactly where you're supposed to be right now. If you weren't getting ready to stunt, you wouldn't be. You'd be lower. Pass the ball here. Hold it for a second. Now stop. You're not where you're supposed to be, and that's why you're late on stunting this. Are you on your line? Are you close to the line of the ball or your rope? Right? Right? So you should be there. And as this ball passed, now you can stun it. You get even closer to it. You want to get your hand almost to his chest. You've got to freeze him. All your stunt wants to do is take away his shot, then you leave. 